the bell icon to turn on notifications. Hi everyone! Welcome to a new tutorial from Simon Says It. In this video, I'm going to show you how to apply the accounting number format in Excel. If you regularly use Excel to track your finances, I'm sure you would have come across this accounting number format. You may already know that Excel has built-in formatting options for various data types, but for money, it has two formats, the currency format and the accounting number format. Now, what is special about this format, and how is it different from the standard currency format? The first important difference is the alignment. What sets the accounting number format apart is its perfect sense of alignment. As you can see here, the currency symbol and the decimal points are perfectly aligned in the whole column, making it easier to read. And the currency format displays negative values as is, whereas the accounting format displays them inside brackets. And the currency format displays zero values as is, whereas the accounting format replaces them with a small hyphen. And the currency symbol appears right next to the number in the currency format, whereas it appears at the extreme left end of the accounting number format. Also, the decimal points and comma separators are perfectly aligned in the accounting number format. That is not the case with the currency format. Keeping all these things in mind, let us now look at how to apply the accounting number format in Excel. Now, there are three ways to apply the accounting format in Excel. You can use the accounting number format button, or you can use the drop down in the number group, or you can use the format cells dialog box. We'll look at them one by one. To use the accounting number format button, you can follow these steps. Select the cells you want to format. Locate and click on the accounting number format button in the number group under the Home tab. This will apply your regional currency to the format. The keyboard shortcut for this is Alt followed by H followed by A AN. If you need some other currency to be applied, click on the drop down button next to the accounting number format button and click on the suitable currency. You can also increase or decrease the decimal values as per your requirements by clicking here. You can use the keyboard shortcuts for this as Alt followed by H followed by zero, Alt followed by H followed by nine to increase or decrease respectively. Another way to access the accounting format option is to use the drop down menu in the number group under the Home tab. Now, select accounting from the list of formats appearing in the drop down menu. This will apply your regional currency to the format. The keyboard shortcut to do this is Alt followed by H followed by N and followed by A followed by an Enter. The Format Cells dialog box is another effective way to apply the accounting format in Excel. Now let us see how to use it. Select the cells for which you need to apply the accounting format. Right click on the selection and click on the Format Cells option in the right click menu. Alternatively, you can use the keyboard shortcut Control 1. In the Format Cells dialog box, select the Number tab, then select Accounting under Category. Choose your currency symbol and the number of decimal places you want and click OK. That's all, folks. These are the different methods to apply the accounting number format in Excel. If you have any questions regarding this or any other Excel feature, please let us know in the comments. We're always happy to help. If you need more high quality Excel guides, please check out our free Excel Resources Center in the description. Thank you. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. 
To see the full blog article that this video came from, please click over there and click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.